I'm back with my mid-1950s standard cadet. It has been two years since I've performed tests on this toilet. I had given the bowl an acid clean, and I'd put it on the test stand, and I didn't think the flush had improved all that much. The toilet performed better when a 4049 tank with a tilt valve was installed on it. I'm going to remove the brass Douglas flush valve from the tank and replace it with a flapper valve to see if that improves. If the flush does not improve, I have a new tilt valve that I will install in it. Here is the interior of the tank. This Douglas flush valve is a replacement. The original one was corroded. I'll begin replacing the brass Douglas flush valve with this flapper valve. Then I'll conduct more tests. If there is no improvement with the flapper valve, I'll replace it with this tilt valve. The brass Douglas valve has been replaced with the flapper valve. Now it's time to set the toilet up and begin tests. I'll begin with a dry bowl flush. A normal flush. Close up of the trapway and the jet. A split shot. You can see that this bowl does not siphon out as fast as other cadets of this vintage. Small microfiber cloth. larger microfiber cloth. My largest microfiber cloth. It doesn't look very happy, does it? Try it one more time. Well, I took it with a little bit of prodding. Under normal use, this toilet would be fine. The 4043 tank took two minutes and 10 seconds to fill versus over three and a half minutes for my 1972 Kohler Wellworth, which is currently installed.
My Cola Wellworth at times can't even take a piece of toilet paper. You would think with over five gallons of water that it would. I could tell by the sound that the flapper was closing about the same time that the uh, Douglas valve was. So I don't see a whole lot of improvement.